So, please welcome on the stage, this is Lena Hoven from Germany, from Hamburg. Round of applause, please. Great, hello. Hi. <laughs> so, um, we are here because, uh, partly, because your book has come out in English, which is fantastic news, from Blank Slate Press, Love Looks Away. Um, and we're going to be hearing a short extract uh, from that. So we're going to perform together, aren't we? We are. Because there are male voices as well as female voices. I mean, you didn't have a problem with that, but I'm happy to do the, the male voices for you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course, it'll be fun. Um, and, um, Lena, your, your technique is worth mentioning. We, we, we've seen the beautiful watercolours that uh, Judith uses, but you work in Scraperboard, which we will be seeing a little demonstration of uh, a little bit in a while. That's, just tell me a little bit about that for a start, because it's a very labour-intensive... Um, medium, isn't it? It is, and it's really hard to make corrections as well. Yeah, if you make a mistake, um, you how do you fix it? With ink. <laughs> okay, you're going to get back in again. But just explain, like, it's literally it's white line out of black, isn't yes. it? That's it's the complete opposite of what we think of normally as drawing. Yeah, it's a cardboard that's um, covered with china clay and then overprinted with black ink, and to get the picture, you have to scratch away the black with a knife or something sharp. Mm, mm, exactly. And, and this medium is something that you, you studied in, in art college? I did, yeah. Yeah, and it's particularly attracted you. What was it that attracted you about that? Um, I guess because it's so time consuming. It's just like you can listen to a million audiobooks and music and just drift <laughs> off. And, you know. and get lost in the, in yeah. the fine it's details. Like, yeah. I could do another pattern maybe just. Yeah for the next 10 hours. And I guess the scale is not normally that large, because comic yeah. art tends to be sort of half up or sometimes twice up, but it's usually, with scripper board, it has to be the same be size. It has to be small, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, this project is actually a series of stories which, which trace the, the, the history of your parents and grandparents. It's sort of like, and for you almost was a way of where have I come from, is yes. that, in a way, wasn't it? Why is it called Love Looks Away? What is that? How would you explain that title? Well, I started, the, the <clears> idea <throat> for the book came when I did the first story, which tells the story of my grandfather Erich in uh, Bonn in the 30s, where he was part of Hitler Youth. And um, I did that story, and then afterwards, I thought about, well, where do I, what, where do I belong? Mm. Because whenever I was in the US, I would feel uncomfortable with German history and uh, I went to school there for a year and other students put Nazi on my spins and stuff, you know, so mm. that was the one side where I always felt guilty, typically German. Mm. And mm. then uh, at the time when I did that story, Germany was so anti-American because of Bush. Right. So you had that side, and I was like, where do I belong? What's actually, mm. so love looks away, me, for me, it's like, you always have this backpack full of stories with your family and stuff that you feel uncomfortable with, and if, I think if you love someone, you're not, you, you're not blind, I think you just, you, it's a decision to look away. Look away, always, as in forgiveness? Yes, or, because yes, I would yes. always love my grandparents, although I knew mm, that mm. You know, they were part of Hitler's mm. whatever. I mean, and that was a family secret up to a certain point? Was it, cause I, was it, was it something you had to find out, or was it Well, my grandfather about? was in the SS for a short time, and mm. uh, the whole family didn't want to talk about no, it. So no. They were not really happy about that part in the book. And how did you learn about that in the first place? Well, I did some research oh. on the letters of my grandma, diaries. Oh. And stuff, and Didn't, did you talk to your grandmother about it? No, she was already dead. You're right, of course, right, okay. That was too late, yeah. And so from there, you decided to follow on from how, eventually, how your, your parents met over the course of time. Shall we do a, the reading? Shall we have a go? Now, we've, you, these guys are doing a wonderful job. I, shall I ruin the illusion that this actually isn't, it's, it's just a dummy, actually. It doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> I just go like that, and they, they press the button. And you were doing brilliantly with Judith, because you were responding. I'm sorry, I've blown it. I can't pretend. It's no point. But we will do it if you like. But you seem to know when we want to change. And the main thing to do is give them a, a, a pulse beat when, when because the, there are quite a few silent images in this, OK? But um, so just, just situate this. Shall I, shall I, I'm not going to use this. There's no real need to, really, is there? No, no. no. The illusion is ruined there. There we are. <laughs> OK, and this is actually, of course, this is the second story. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it takes just part situate in, us here, yeah. Yeah, it takes part in Michigan, Muskegon, where my grandma is from. Uh, Muskegon, Michigan. Yes. Yes, yes. 
<laughs> yeah, good. And, and what year are we in here? The 40s. OK. Somewhere in the 40s. OK. During the war? Well, she, yes. Yes, yes, yes. OK. So we all got the Yeah, figure, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, baby, it's cold outside. There we go. This is my grandma. <laughs> Sound effects. So, how was your date with Tommy? Oh, let's not talk about that. There are more amusing things to do. How about race? The winner gets first pick of the girls. Okay, it's a deal. On your marks, get set, go. What are you doing down there? Well, what does it look like? Come on, I'll teach you how to skate. So, do you make a habit of picking up girls who get in your way? Only the ones who melt the ice. <laughs> okay, but let's take it slow. Not bad at all. You sure learn fast. Thanks. How do you learn to skate so well? I'm a professional ho ice hockey player. No kidding. What's your name? Harold Laurie. I'm Catherine. May I take you home, Catherine? Wait, let me get that door for you. Oh, oh we've got the music. <laughs> I love this song. Me too. We must, I really can't we must leave him far from our shores, outside. for we intend to bring this battle to him on his own home baby, ground. American outside. armed forces this must be used at any place in all the world to engage the forces of the enemy. I really hope we beat those Germans. Do you think you'll have to go over there? Sure, I definitely won't want to go. For now, I'm forced to work at the gas company because the, out off the officials won't let me. They aren't allowed to recruit from that kind of company. Besides, my mum doesn't want me to enlist. I'm a pacifist, too. Mm, well, I'm a patriot. Anyway, let's not worry about that right now. Can I call you sometime? <laughs> okay, I'll be in this bit, yeah, okay. Hey, buddy, all set for our little adventure this afternoon? Yeah, sure, but keep it down. You know we'll be in trouble if anyone finds out. Harold, just relax. Uh, you don't mind if we take your car, do you? Did you change your mind? You look real worried. I'm just afraid they'll find out about this. It's a different district. Nobody will know. We're here now, anyway. Mr. Warner, you're next. That's me. I think that cute nurse likes me. Hey, looks like I'm a soldier in the US Army now. You're next. Ha, huh, congratulations. Mr. Laurie, I have your x-rays here. Did anyone in your family ever suffer from tuberculosis? Maybe, I don't know. Well, it looks like you've had an episode. Sorry, Mr. Laurie, but I can't send you to Europe in your condition. Elisa, send the next one in, please. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> hey, sis, why won't you let talk to this guy who keeps on calling? I don't know, he's very charming, but he said something about wanting to go to war. But listen, he really seems to like you. Hi, this is Catherine. Well, OK, I guess you can pick me up on Friday. OK, and we have these images here too, don't yeah. we? These are lovely. Do you want to read those out? Um, well, that's Catherine, my grandma, and mm -hmm. Harold, in their wedding in 1945. It looks like it's in a cathedral, but it's actually just like this photo you know? Like a set. Yes. Yeah. You can tell that there's a line down there. I try to make it obvious it's not like uh -huh. a real right. church or anything. And uh, down there is my mom, Charlotte, and Santa Claus mm -hmm. in 1949. Well, the next one we have another picture of Charlotte, age four. Yes. And underneath that, there's a picture of my mom with her grandma, with her mom and mm -hmm. her brother Mike. Younger this brother. picture doesn't really exist, though. I mean, some of these are just made up oh, okay. to tell that there have been more 
children and stuff. Right, that you didn't actually have archive material you could draw on for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. A round of applause, please, for Lynn for Lynn Hoven's reading. Thank you very much. This is fine, isn't it? <laughs> Great. Now, I don't know how this is working for you, but I think it's nice to give a flavour. What's the comic like? What's the story like? How the pictures are? I think it works very well. Thank you for... So we've got some images up here as well, but um, just, to go back, just to go back to finish off about the story, I mean, um, the... Uh, what did you... What was your feeling completing the book? And what did, how did you feel looking back on your family? Did, was it, did it give you a new perspective on who you are today, for example? Really. No? no, it didn't work out. Didn't work out, <laughs> no. <laughs> Still lots of unresolved things. The whole question of where do I belong? And, yes. Yeah. And also, in the beginning, I asked my parents if I'm allowed to use their real names, and I asked everyone who was still alive if I may use their real names. Mm. And they were like, yeah, just go ahead. I mean, it's just like the final thesis for art school, so nobody's yeah, going yeah, to No audience, it. exactly, yeah. Because it, it was done as an art project, wasn't it, originally? Well, it was without, like final thesis. But with no publisher in mind. No. No. And then it was published, and mm. then, um, now my parents are... Well, sometimes they say, when I Google myself. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine pictures come up of the, from the, from the yes, book from more, the more than photographs of yeah. them, perhaps, yes. And so that's kind of strange. Um, but but did, do you feel anything strange about that? I mean, we talked to Judith about the whole exposure of autobiography and our family history. And, uh, would, would, if you did it again, if, if you knew it was going to be this publicised, would you change the names? No, I think I would have been more precise maybe oh. like I would have no not precise is the wrong word I would have mm. told maybe more more things that I didn't in the beginning because I was afraid how everyone would react right oh. so I was a little maybe I sh I, I could have done more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay maybe. right we're seeing some of your other work here tell us a bit about the other books um, that you've done yes this is uh, Dudenbrooks, which is like really hard to translate because it's just like Dudenbrooks is a famous novel by mm. Thomas Mann. Right, so it's a play and on that, isn't it? Yes, really, a pun on it that. Is. And yeah. it's the whole alphabet from A to Z. It was published in the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung mm -hmm. as a series that I did with Jochen Schmidt, a famous German writer. Great. Uh, so so he wrote text to go along with, with yes, these. Yeah. And this is the G, so every yeah. word is some in German connected, yes. of course, not in other languages, right. to the letter G. Yeah. Great stuff. This is M, Michael reading fairy tales Lovely. to his friend. And this is my uh, latest. So, why is, I can see it's, it's mythology with SCHM in the front of it. Yes. So, why has it got that? Because a pun? it's Jochen Schmidt. Oh, I see, as in Schmidt again. Yeah. Oh, I see. This was a series also for yes. the Faz, yeah, from the newspaper. It was on for 72 weeks. Wow. And um, I had one week to do each picture, which is really Gosh. hard for me because it takes me like There's a lot of work in these pictures. hours to get one picture done. So it's based on mythology. It's, it's about Greek words and what they mean, and Jochen just oh. puts them into his life and what, it, what Greek, mean, Greek words mean for him. Uh -huh. just, uh, yeah. So which word is this, for example? <laughs> See you in hell. <laughs> I wanted that to be the last picture, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, very powerful. And it's got an owl sitting on, the, on a gravestone yeah. there. In the beginning, I wanted to do owls in every picture so, you know, kids could have something to look out for, but mm. I forgot about the owl. I was like, oh, I forgot the owl. God damn owl. <laughs> where I put, oh, well. <laughs> So he came up with 70 Greek words and their yes. significance to him. Uh, uh, okay, what an interesting project. So what is that word? I you can't remember what it I is. Don't okay, remember. right. So as the, when the book's published, is, is, it, is it published with his text, presumably? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Excellent. What else have we got up here? Oh, this is, this is quite an early piece, isn't it? When you were maybe still. In, is it before Liebeschart no, Weg it's or after? The, it's after. It's yeah. For Orang. Uh, oh yes, the anthology from Hamburg. Yes. Orang. At, not orange, but as in orang or tang, yes. a bit. Which is a very good anthology from the Hamburg Art School. Is it an art school? It's art school, yeah. but it's, it's done. It's over now. <laughs> yeah, but in its time, anyway. I know, but in its time, it was, it was good. Yeah. Sasha Holm and other people came up through that, didn't they? Very, very good German magazine, yeah. Great. Yeah, it's about a striptease girl who, mm -hmm. who fell in love with one of the guys watching her, and she just knows what his arms look like. So she doesn't know his face, but she's like in love with his arms. His tattoos. Yeah, and she uh, 
thinks about wanting to send him a sign that she recognized him and that she's in love with him deeply. Ah, uh -huh. and what sign is that? Uh, she gets one of the, the tattoos herself. Ah, right. Does it have a happy ending? Um, kind of. Two dogs die, but the rest <laughs> is good. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> so tattooing somehow seems appropriate because you've got the same kind of you know, incisions into whether it's skin or, or, or um, scraper board. Yeah, tremendous. Mm -hmm. really good. The lettering obviously is not done in scraper board, is it? The lettering, of course, is done. I did that in the beginning, but yeah, that would drive you mad, wouldn't just, it? Every time I changed a word, it just freaked me out. It's like, yeah, I don't know, no. You do all this stuff again. So you do it on a computer, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I have a Hoven font. Yeah. Ah, Hoven light and Hoven bold. <laughs> Hoven bold, Hoven definitely. Bold. Definitely Hoven bold. <laughs> Right. Um, now, we are going to have a chance to see Lena do a bit of work on, just as you haven't seen, live scraper board. Um, we, can, we, can, we can swap chairs. I warmed the chair for you. Thanks. Um, and you can position yourself so we can get the camera switched over. Our wonderful technician is going to switch us over. And um, this, is, this looks like this is the image, of course, from Schmittolegier. Schmittolegier, yes. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Yes, I don't know. It's like the hardest German word. Yes, but it's, it's a joke on Edward Gorey's Amphigurie. Amphigurie, yes. You know, using his name to, mm -hmm. you know, his... Putting his name into yeah. the word, yes, yes. Really German humor. And is it, again, rather like the alphabet, it's probably difficult to translate, I should it imagine. Is. It's going to be very specific to the German, or maybe not. No. Because it's Greek words that actually might be easier to translate. Not so many specific German al allusions in it. Yes. Yes. It's I mean, and just like Latin words, it, they should be understandable mm, mm. in every language. Exactly, exactly. So you're going to position it where you'd like to work? Yes. Are, we, are we going to get this switched we'll over? Two, two seconds. We're all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And don't, we're not going to be here for three hours or 30 hours, did you say? 30 yeah, hours? I'm 30 hours. Yeah. <laughs> we could just, yes, you can see a little bit of the technique. Okay. Blink, blink. Isn't that fantastic telly? I want that telly. <laughs> That is real widescreen. Look at this. There we go. So you can put a, position yourself and see. This is the scraper board. You've had a manicure, haven't you, especially? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We can zoom in. And there we go. That's perfect. Yeah, just leave it there. And then you can uh, t take us to the stages. So this is, in the beginning, it's black. And then I have my drawing on transparent paper. Uh -huh. Yes, that's oh, to keep to keep it to keep it pure. Already. Yeah. <laughs> what is magic about this paper? It looks like baking well, it's paper like, or well, something. It's the same stuff that you use sometimes. Do you remember typewriters? <gasps> yeah, I was thinking it looks a bit like a. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? <laughs> well, is, is it like carbon paper? It's the other is way it, around. It's, it's white. It's reverse carbon. It's white carbon paper. It's, that's cool, isn't it? So you've it got took, the it took me so long oh. to, to get this. I so mean, you've got some very complicated art supplies here. Yeah. I mean, you know. I think you usually use this. And that can't do, be. Um, people aren't making that, are they? These well, sheets. They, well, they make this for like China painting, I think. Okay. Ah, but not for typing. Like obviously, no. nobody uses typing anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then it comes out white onto. Right. What a brilliant solution. And I can ah. just erase everything again. So yeah. these are just my outlines. I usually okay. have. And um, as I said earlier, you can just scratch away. Have you done that? So you don't always use the special tools. We'll use all sorts of things. Yes. And of course, you get different textures and lines depending on what you're using. Right. Oh, right. What's the weirdest thing you've ever used? <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the second weirdest? <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned nails, but I mean, you know, have you used have you used actual nails, as in nails, as in you know, no, hammers and nails? Not me, but we had a scraper board exhibition in Basel. Oh yeah. Uh, Oh. And uh, there was this guy who did um, the whole stuff with rabbit blood. Like this <laughs> surface was rabbit blood. Well, why not? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what? Scratch away everything with rusty nails. Okay, we could use the rabbit's the rat teeth or something. Couldn't we? <laughs> I don't know. But yes, different. Right. 
So, yes, the, 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 there are other media that could be used. And I, I gather that's quite... Is this, is this actually a medium that is sort of dying in the sense that it it's not being made, people aren't using it very much? Is it hard to get the supplies? It's not being produced anymore. No. It's not 